Greg Reynolds is a force to be reckoned with on many different levels. As we said, you heard it before, the only easy day was yesterday. With a 15-month combat tour in Iraq under his belt, the 32-year-old survived a horrendous motorcycle accident, losing his arm four years later. But the former Army Staff Sergeant refuses to allow his injury to cramp his lifestyle in any manner. People count me out all the time because I'm missing my arm and when I golf or even when I fish, they're like, how's this guy going to make this happen? And then, you know, I just, it's all in our heads. If there's, if there's, if there's a will, there's a way. And what you guys are going to see is my will and drive to overcome the uh, tremendous struggle. Now he is the starting left field center for the Wounded Warrior Amputee Softball Team, a collection of heroes who have lost limbs, primarily in Afghanistan and Iraq. Greg, along with his friend John Nicholson, also an Army veteran, came to Clearwater, Florida to train for various sporting events, including the Bataan Memorial Death March, a 26-mile challenge to be held March 19th at the terrain of the White Sands Missile Range in New Mexico. On April 9, 1942, outnumbered American soldiers surrendered on Bataan. The infamous Death March that followed was a milestone in the history of man's inhumanity to man. My team had our spring training over in Lakeland, Florida, where the Detroit Tigers train. And uh, so that's what initially brought me down. And then I figured while I was down, I might as well keep training because I'm doing the Baton Memorial Death March for the second time this year, which is an amazing event. You know, it raises uh, honor and memory of the World War II guys that were captured off the Philippines and just the tremendous struggle they went through. Reynolds was in a coma for six weeks after his accident defying the odds of survival 2,000 to 1. After a long recovery period, he went from 175 pounds to 110 and in a wheelchair, basically becoming a recluse. He definitely thought about suicide, but through the support of fellow veterans, Greg managed to come back as he bonded with other fellow veterans. Through his experience, he understood the plight of other wounded warriors. We lose about 22 veterans a day to suicide. You ex-military, you know about it. And I think for today's workout, we should incorporate 22 push-ups in uh, memory of the people that we lost and also for the cause and raising awareness. Reynolds doesn't consider himself handicapped, but rather handy-capable. He says it's all about mind control. Not only does he run and do push-ups, Reynolds does it all from CrossFit gym, golf, softball, flag football, fishing and hiking, as well as other physical challenges, such as tough mutters. He has a goal to play better than his able-bodied opponents. Greg is also a peer visitor to newly injured amputees, both in the military and civilian health care systems. He also is a motivational speaker in which he brings messages of inspiration and hope to corporations, schools, and sports teams and anyone else that needs the inspiration. He also coaches and mentors amputee children at kids camps throughout the summer, showing them it's possible and forever changing lives. Visit his company to learn more at makinglemonade.org. He is also on Facebook and Twitter.